Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, based on the location where you're located. So yeah, hi. Uh, so my name is Sumit, and I'm here to present you on the topic of container security automation with Ansible. So uh, currently, I'm working with uh, Ansible team as a senior software engineer. And basically, I'm part of Ansible content team, where I directly contribute in Ansible security and the network team as well. So as you can see, uh, I have listed out my GitHub and IRC handle, which is J-U-S-T-J-I-S. And I have also listed out my mail as well. So at any point of time, you guys have any query, post this session as well with respect to container security automation with Ansible, you can just ping me up. Okay, so moving on on the agenda. Okay, uh, so the agenda for today is, uh, uh, the first one is understanding continuous security concept. And this will basically tell us uh, how and where it is important uh, with respect to container security and how we used to check for security and compliance and hardening of that. The second goes about, tells you scan, uh, using the scans, using the Ansible automation platform. The third one is understanding terminology, which is basically used for identifying the vulnerability and which is most commonly used in the current scenario. And again, then we'll talk about all automating vulnerability analysis of Docker containers. And then we'll go about discuss uh, the schedule scan using Ansible automation platform, which actually internally uses Ansible Tower. And then we'll go about discuss uh, to file integrity checks, host-level monitoring, and various compliance initiative. So, yep. So, uh, first one is understanding security concepts. So as you all know that one of the key approaches to emerge out of DevOps is the idea of continuous and immutable infrastructure. It actually means that every time there, there needs to be a runtime change and application of codes or configuration, the containers are built to deploy and existing running ones are torn down. And that actually allows uh, for predictability, resilience, and it simplifies deployment choices at runtime. And there is no surprise that many operation teams are already uh, moving towards it. Also, uh, uh, with that comes the question of when these containers basically should be tested for security and compliance. So, and that uh, point, at that point, it is like on the, so by embracing the process of uh, uh, continuous security and scanning and monitoring, you can actually go ahead and automate the variety of workload and workflows for Docker containers uh, throws at you. So here, the best practices that we can see is like, uh, first one is ensure that there are no vulnerability in your container. So the first one is basic. So the second one is uh, every time you deploy on production system, yeah, the image should be rescanned for any vulnerability that is uh, that might have got crept in. And third one is the uh, every time you do a rebuild, you, you don't do a patch, you just do a rebuild instead. And how Ansible and Ansible automation platform can help here is like, there are plenty of security tools uh, that are available currently in the market, which actually can be automated using Ansible. And Ansible can uh, Ansible is all the new tools and needs to automate all those pro uh, products. And that can internally help in Docker container security and scanning images. So as, I, uh, as you see, uh, first one is automating vulnerabilities kind of like echo security and anchor. And it can actually help in enabling programming, programmatic scanning. And it can also help in automating runtime production tools to ensure images don't change during runtime. Okay, so uh, now we can move to the next slide. Okay, so as you know, continuous security scanning requires us to manage uh, in a software like Ansible Automation Platform. It actually, most of the discussion, uh, most of the discuss tool here can be used for scanning and maintaining a benchmark for security. We should be, uh, we should think about the entire process as an incident response and threat detection workflow as well. So how Ansible uh, Security Automation initi Initiative helps here is like it helps you prepare, uh, pr uh, prepare the uh, tool uh, for automation. It can actually help in detection in uh, detection and analysis. It can also help in containment, eradication, and recovery. And at the end, it can also help in post-incident activity as well. So before going and uh, discussing about the uh, uh, each and individual tool, I'll just be going through the basic under, uh, uh, understanding and terminology for which is being used currently for identifying the vulnerability. So 
basically as a part of our preparation it may be useful to get familiar with the follow, uh, like uh, the following terms that uh, are listed there so uh, first one is cv which is common vulnerability and exposure so basically it's a list of records where each container and, and uh, it, each containing an identification number and a description and at least one public reference for the uh, publicly known cyber security vulnerabilities so the other one is uh, oval which is open vulnerability and assessment language it is actually an international information security community standard to promote open and publicly available security content and the third one is cwe which is a common weakness and enumeration and it's also a category system for software weaknesses and vulnerability and it's uh, it's a sustained community project with the goals of understanding flaws in software and creating automated tools that can be used to identify and fix uh, the prevent those flaws and the very last one is nvd so basically it's a national vulnerability database and it is a us government database which is uh, which ca uh, takes care of vulnerability management database and it's available in uh, available to public in xml format so going through the topic of uh, de discussion here you'll get to like uh, i'll be using cvs most often because that is how most often uh, we categorize the uh, issues that we find in container security world uh, so moving on so uh, as you can see there are many different ways of evaluating the security of containers as containers are everywhere at this point of time uh, there are very various tools and techniques that are available to perform scans and assess the docker containers and the your environment so uh, these are the tools that i'll be discussing during the presentation and i'll be going through each of these uh, tools individually as well and i'll also have a demo prepared uh, so at this point i understand that i'll have to switch between the tabs so i'll stop sharing and reshare again so bear with me for that so yeah uh, so first one is docker bench uh, and as i told you so this uh, would I, I would go in detail for this individual tool as well in upcoming slides but yeah just to give a basic idea that what is docker tool uh, docker bench is it's basically a, sh a security shell script which actually performs checks uh, based on the cis which is a uh, center for information security and uh, the second one is clear so clear is also a tool to perform static vulnerability analysis based on the cv database so cv is the thing that we discussed in the last slide and anchor second anchor are these are two tools uh, that perform variety of Docker, uh, Docker and Kubernetes uh, security uh, things, but I'll be discussing over a few of the things that I wanted to bring about in this particular presentation. So yeah, Ecosec and Anchor a platform to perform security evaluation and make runtime policy decisions. And the part of uh, Ecosec is Ecosec Tree, Trivi, yeah, and it's basically a, a simple and comprehensive vulnerability image scanner for containers. And the lastly, uh, we have OS query. So it actually doesn't uh, fit in the container side world because it actually goes ahead and check for the OS related thing in your inside your container. So actually, if you think it is an analytics to do the HIDS, which is host intrusion de detection system type of activities. So yep, uh, I'll be discussing and going over these tools individually in the upcoming slides. So first one is the Docker bench. So, uh, I hope you guys are able to see the screen. Yana, can you confirm? Yes, we can see. Cool, thanks. Thanks for the confirmation. Okay, so the first one is the Docker bench. Uh, and it's the Docker bench for security. As I told you, it's a basically basically a shell script that checks for dozens of common best practices around deploying Docker containers in production. And the tests here are all automated and uh, is inspired by CIS Docker benchmarks, where CIS is Center for Information Security. So as you see, I have listed down what all checks uh, Docker bench performs. And uh, it's basically host configuration, your Docker daemon configuration and files, Docker uh, container images, Docker runtime, and Docker security operation, and Docker Swarm configuration. So 
before uh, like uh, going to the presentation part uh, so i have like recorded a demo for this particular uh, uh, tool but i wanted to cover clear as well because uh, if i'll be switching between the slides i think it will take a bit of time and uh, i wanted to cover during the allocated time the entire presentation so before going to the presentation i'll discuss the clear tool as well and post that i'll be going through the demo recording of uh, docker bench so yeah uh, so the other tool that i wanted to discuss is clear it's basically an open source project and it is used for static analysis of vulnerability and uh, it is uh, a static analysis uh, against containers and it can help and it helps by checking with the existing vulnerability database so clear actually ma maintains a vulnerability database and based on that a database actually the clear scanner performs the scan on the docker images and throws you uh, the result with all the required uh, cvs and uh, severity level information so yeah, uh, more details about this uh, clear scan can easily be found over the github repo of clear because it's an open source project so everything is available on github and now it is part of uh, it's a part of core os and uh, it is now part of quay as well uh, so yeah, it actually uses a clear, clear API index to their uh, for the container images, and it, it checks for uh, known vulnerabilities. And uh, Clear Scanner is a tool that can actually trigger and help in getting through the Clear database and give you the exact result. So for Clear, I have just uh, focused on the playbook and its playbook run. So as you see on the left hand side, I have the entire playbook. Uh, for clear scanner and as you see uh, the name of the playbook is uh, scanning containers using clear scanner and host i have kept it as localhost because uh, as you see localhost i have performed i'll run this particular uh, ansible playbook on my local box so because of that i have kept it as localhost and let's suppose if somebody wants to check for a docker container and inside that so they can just give the inventory details here and they can just run it here I am making gather facts as false because I am not uh, bothered about collecting the Ansible variable and its information. Uh, become is yes, but I am doing it because I wanted to escalate privileges to pseudo level. So I am using two variables as first one is image to scan, the second one is clear server. Here I'll be trying to scan, sorry. Here I'll try to scan the Debian SID image and I'll I've already have a setup ready with the clear server. So this particular playbook talks about only uh, the clear scanner. So clear server, you need to set up the clear server before you go ahead and run the clear scanner. So this particular playbook only talks about the clear scanner. So yeah, clear server setup is at this particular location. So what I do is I am using answer module get URL and command module. So get URL is doing the clear scanner. So as you see by the name, it is suggesting that downloading and setting up the clear scanner library binary, sorry. So from this particular GitHub repo, it is trying to download it and move, move to the destination folder. I'm making the execution privileges uh, as set. And now with the clear scanner command, I'm trying to uh, run the clear scanner on the image of Debian SID. So, and this will particularly report a JSON format and then I'm registering the output and then downloading the report locally and on the left hand side if you see I am catting the result so if you see my image name is a Debian SID and unapproved CVs are all these CV that I have founded and the vulnerability that are available in this so as you see for both docker bench and clear is used for your image based uh, uh, it can actually check on image based vulnerabilities and first one is docker bench and it is actually a docker product and clear is an open source project uh, which is uh, held by the community and actually is a static tools uh, it's not a dynamic tool because it has a database set on on the known vulnerabilities and on the basis of that it actually goes ahead and fires the cls uh, clear scanner which on particular docker image and gets you the result so all these tools that I am talking about currently can easily be part of the CI system and can actually help in Docker process compliance and Docker security compliance and it's hardening. So yeah, so let me just stop the sharing and uh, share the Docker bench.
demo just hold on now i'll be sharing the entire screen i think because i wanted to share okay i hope you guys are able to see the entire screen now yes we can see the screen mm -hmm. okay cool so this is the recording demo so i'll be going a live demo for anchor but rest of the demo are recorded so this is the docker bench demo so as you see i uh, am creating a docker bench playbook uh, and uh, here again i'm using host as localhost because i'm running on uh, my local box and here become a yes because i want to escalate the sudo privileges and here i'm making gather facts as true because i wanted to gather ansible a uh, date time variable which i'm using here so first one, uh, first task is download and do uh, download the document security. It is also uh, available on your GitHub profile as it's part of Docker. So I'm transferring the content to destination and then I'm trying to running, uh, run the actual Docker shell script. So I'm trying to change the directory here and then I'll be going through the command uh, dot Docker and I'm trying to run the shell script and transfer the output log. Then I'm trying to download the report locally and then I'm transferring the report location to the user. Okay, so I think before uh, starting uh, or before firing the playbook, I just want to show you guys that currently I'm using Ansible version 294, which is kind of latest because Ansible 297 I think is already there and uh, I'm using currently 294. So here goes the play run. So yep, uh, as you see, uh, currently it is gathering facts and download and Docker bench security. Since it's already downloaded, it is not showing changed as true. So now it is running Docker bench security scan. It is taking a bit of time because I have like close to five images already in my box. So it is taking uh, comparatively larger time. So yeah, as you can see, the report scan, run scan completed and now the report is generated and I am just throwing out to the user that where your particular report is located. So now if I will open the particular log, you must see all the return output that uh, Docker Bench gives you. And all those is depending on your, all those results basically, okay, sorry. Yeah, so uh, the diff configuration that you, the log that it gives is related on, on this, all this point. Host configuration, your Docker daemon configuration and files, your Docker enterprise configuration. So as you see, there are N number of results and it's uh, logged as uh, pass, warn, info and warn. So only the warn condition uh, should be checked properly. Otherwise you can skip and you can also filter out the results so as i told you so this is scanning for almost five images so it is quite long otherwise for one particular image you'll get a shorter result but it ha it'll uh, have all the details with respect to uh, the docker bench uh, categories so yeah i think i can stop it because uh, this will go ahead and take through all those so yeah as you can see container runtime docker swarm configuration So yeah, so based on the log, you can also filter out the result based on the images that you provide. So at this point, I'll just close it and go back to the presentation. Sorry guys for switching back and forth because I wanted to show you the demo and so I have to share the entire screen. Okay, I hope you guys are able to see the screen again. Cool. It's my day and everything is working. Cool. Uh, so I have finished till clear. Okay. So schedule scans, uh, why schedule scan is important? Uh, because security is a continuous process, right? 
so it is a kind of loop of planning doing studying and acting it's kind of uh, the thing that i've depicted is the deming circle it's actually depicts the same so because if you are not doing it again and again at any point uh, things might go wrong and things might go south and you'll be able you'll not be able to uh, like uh, catch those of things and you'll be in trouble so continuous security is required from that perspectives and because of that schedules can help and using ansible automation platform offering like ansible tower you can schedule scan and get to the result uh, every time you want it and at the time you want it so that is how it helps so let me so yeah this, this is the tool or pro, uh, platform compliance that i wanted to talk about uh, so basically anchor uh, anchor engine is an open source project which actually provides a centralized service uh, for inspection analysis and certification of container images it also uh, has a restful apis and via anchor cli you can actually go ahead and perform these scans the anchor engine is provided as a docker container image as well the which can actually be run as a standalone with an orchestration platform and uh, it can actually uh, help in uh, high level operations like policy evaluation operations your image operations your policy operations your registry operations your subscription op operations and system operations so quite a few operations but yeah it's anchor and echo security is kind of compliance tool which actually takes care of uh, much more uh, things that i'm talking about here since I, this particular topic is only revolving around container security so i'll be dealing only with uh, container security world so yeah and the second one that i wanted to talk about is echo security trivi and it actually is a very uh, useful tool and it can actually be very easily implemented into your ci system because it is uh, very simple and it's just that you need to download the aqua security trivi tool from the aqua security github repo and then it is very easy to use because it's just that uh, trivi is a cli uh, command and you give it the image and you just run it you'll be able to see that okay uh, your pv performs the analysis and give you the result in a json format and so it can actually be a, a used in your devsecop pipeline so like your ci cd pipeline and it actually helps and supports multiple formats as well so at this point again i'll stop sharing and go back to the demo section because i wanted to demo the anchor one through ansible tower okay so before going uh, through the demo content and the playbook i'll just want to uh, give you you give you guys a heads up that all the playbook that i am showing in this particular presentation is uh, already checked in at ansible security demo content and under playbook you will see there are uh, platforms available and based on the platform of discussion you can just go ahead and check for the playbook and try it yourself okay so first one is anchor server because before uh, firing the ansible cli scanner i have to uh, set up the server so as i think uh, i'm like close to my timeline so i'll just skip it because this is a, a server setup based on the config file and then uh, comes the anchor cli scan so if you see the cli scan actually it is uh, trying to scan the image of docker uh, debian latest and uh, it is using ansible wars and your ansible is set up on uh, sorry uh, anchor cli is set up on this anchor server is set up on this local host 82a port and the default username and password is admin and foobar and this i'll try to run through ansible tower let me just log into it So yeah, why I'm using Tower is like because I wanted to demo the schedule scan part because it's very important to schedule the scan for every time you run it, every time you want to check for a particular image or if you want to uh, if you have a, a certain uh, container image that is being modified. So yeah, the first one is project. Uh, how I'm setting the anchor scan project is like I am giving us uh, anchor scan project and I'm getting the Git repo where it will fetch the playbook from. then i am giving the inventory details 
inventory in this case uh, would be the my would be my aws instance because uh, here it is ubuntu system that's why you are seeing your public ip and the private ips with respect to aws instance you need to provide your credential as well because uh, when you try to uh, log in through console right you give the pen pen file credentials right the key that's how you give in uh, the same you do it in your tower as well so here i'm giving anchor cred machine uh, type is machine and my username is ubuntu and then i'm giving the file then i'm creating the template from the same thing and this is my anchor scan template and if you see i'm using all those details and here is the fun part is like i can create a schedule and based on the schedule it will run uh, this particular template every time uh, it has this particular condition fulfilled so as you see i have scheduled all the things and these are the occurrences it will happen in during the entire 21 uh, and it is given for march right uh, so feb and march so i'll just fire a on demand scan because even though as the, uh, you have scheduled it uh, sometime you might need an on demand scan so let's just launch it hopefully it works so yeah its job is still running and now it's running and as you can see it's gathering facts first so anchor scan is using the same anchor cli playbook so as you see installing anchor cli it should turn out as change false because Angus CLI might have already been installed because I have run it a yeah, couple of times. What happened? It's showing successful, but I'm not able to browse through the section. Why? Ah. Fun for our live demo. Okay, let me run it again. So I have done it again. Hopefully this time I am able to see the result. Okay, so I am closing on my finish time. So I'll just try to finish everything a bit quickly now. So as you see, uh, it is trying to add image for analysis and then it is waiting on the analysis to complete and here is your result. And if you click on it, you get the JSON output for it with all the details for CVs and your package name, severity, and let's suppose if there is a fix that is available, yeah, it will tell you the fix as well. So this is how your Anchor CLI works. And uh, if I'll run the Trivi scan as well, and this is that particular demo. So if you see, this playbook is very short because as as, as i told you trivi is a very lightweight tool and you just need to install the trivi tool and then the command you using the command module i'm just trying to fire the trivi command with on this golang image so if i'll run this playbook it's giving me all the details of my package name uh, what is uh, there with the severity at medium level and the package name is libcrypto101 and the second uh, package that is having a severity of medium is libssl101 so this i am filtering from the result so i'm just gonna shut it off because i wanted to give time for Some q &A as well 12 minutes you have still so just note okay okay cool thanks anna Again, going back to the presentation, uh, I hope you guys can still this, still see the screen. And yes, uh, so the last part I, that I wanted to discuss about is like OS be, uh, security and compliance check based on the OS level. So uh, while this may not eliminate the case for a purpose-built uh, OS intrusion detection system, but in many cases we can execute the same kind of security task uh, using the tools which is available uh, uh, like OS query, which is which was actually developed by Facebook, and now it has been open sourced. 
So how it can help, it can actually go ahead and check for file hashes, your network connection, and your list of and running processes. So it's, it can actually, if you think that way, it can actually act as a lightweight host based intrusion detection system. So I have not included the demo for OS query. I think that can be considered as a to do for from if you guys are interested and uh, you can go ahead and look for OS query. It's an open source tool and you can just create an Ansible playbook to run this particular tool. It's very easy. And let's suppose if you have any difficulty in finding that, I'll just uh, post the OS query playbook as well in the demo content Ansible security. So yeah, so OS query, uh, is this, it's uh, is an operating system instrumentation framework which was designed actually by Facebook and basically written in C++ or blah, blah, blah. So, and it actually supports multiple platforms like uh, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and other operating system as well. And it actually performs the low level activities such as running processes, kernel configuration, your network connection and file integrity checks. And it also helps in performing centralized monitoring and security management solutions as well. So it's sometimes also described as SQL powered operating system instrumentation monitoring and analytics. So yep, uh, now coming to the most important part of the presentation is the call for action. So uh, yeah, so as you guys all know that containers are rapidly changing the world of developers and its operation teams and by leveraging our knowledge of using Ansible and uh, for scripting the play by play commands or by using the Ansible integrated modules, with Aqua Security Anchor and OS Query tools, uh, we can measure, analyze, and benchmark a container for security. This also allows us to build end-to-end -end automatic process for securing, scanning, and remediating the containers. So at this very point, I just want to call out uh, to you guys that, okay, uh, we at Ansible Security are actually looking onto the uh, use cases and you guys can help us uh, to fulfill those use cases and uh, complete those use cases by giving your inputs and thoughts that how Ansible can, how Ansible you see as a better fit for container security world. And for now, I have uh, demoed through Ansible modules, like Ansible Core Engine modules. But in future, uh, we are talking with the vendors like Echo Security, Anchor, Stackrocks, and Prisma Cloud, Twistlock and new vector and more. So we are talking with these vendors to come up with the integration plan. So like you see uh, for uh, with Docker, we have a particular Ansible module like, uh, right? The Docker image, the Docker container module. The same way you will have the modules for Echo Security, Anchor and other platforms as well. So that will actually help in getting the integration going. And uh, so at this point, uh, would, Ansible would also love to partner with all the uh, and container security vendors, which can actually help in uh, automation opportunities. So uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we have IRC handles of uh, ans hashtag Ansible security, Ansible devil and Ansible Kubernetes. And we have also offered our uh, initiative Ansible security automation initiative on ansible.com. And you can check out the eBooks that are already present for the automation security initiative. So, yep, and all, as I told you already, that all the demo contents and playbooks are already available on this particular GitHub link. You can just browse through the particular link and get to all the playbooks. And yes, I think uh, this was the last part of the discussion. And thanks a lot for joining in. And hope you guys have got something from the container security world. And I'm open for questions. Sumit, you Let's are perfect in time. And if just uh, the question to audience mm -hmm. so whenever you have the question now it's the right time to ask in the q a um, section there's actually one question submit to you from the chat jan was asking if you have some published playbooks roles that automate okay. setting up their server and i can see one question from pavel what do you think, Sumit, about uh, integration of Claire and yeah. other scanners with like Docker repositories like Harbor? So yeah, Paul, I haven't used Harbor, but uh, I think uh, so. So you are asking about the integration of Claire and other scanners uh, with Docker repositories like Harbor. So I am, I have not used Harbor that well, 
uh so i might not be the best person to look into that or answer to that particular question but definitely i'll check on that and probably uh, uh if you can let me know your irc handle or let me know how i can reach you i can just let you know post the session